Hey! Everything sound okay? Right here with the darkest of the lores. Give me a second. I have another sandwich to eat. Alright, give me a second. I have another sandwich to eat and what the fuck happened here? for my freaking stomach. I'm... Guts level up! Guts level up! Yep! Hold on, I got another sandwich I gotta finish eating. I've been busy all week. I've been busy these past few days. So I'm hoping to, like, I'm definitely gonna stream tomorrow, that's for sure.
I mean, yeah. Oh yeah, I finished my freaking sandwich. Let me just get those quests done a bit. Shouldn't take me a few long. Especially since auto battles a thing. Yeah, also that sandwich was good, even though I like I pretty much had it like in the car for almost of the day. I'm just still also waiting for people to show up. Charity is your best friend! Best friends, honestly. I love Charity a lot. It's actually a cat plushie! Although Charity likes to say that they're not a cat, but they are a cat. They're a cat plush. You're a Scottish Fold. But um, uh, Charity actually said that when you um, uh, when you get to um, uh, the Castle of Dreams, because you had to fight, you had to deal with Lucifer, the cat. And they're like, I, and they're like, I know what you're thinking, but I'm not a cat. And I think they're kind of right, cause um, uh, they're more like stuffed plushies, li living things. But I like to think that they're like, st they're still cat-like in ways. My precious little friends. I kind of like my uh, kind of like Morgana. Um, uh, they're kind of genderless as well. And like as in you did, you know, male, female, whatever. Yeah, with my fic, uh, with my K-Hugs fic that I still need to get back to work on, um, uh, I had it in my head that most, like, the, the charities come in different, like, you know, they have different appearances, like, different varieties, like, they do have, like, longer tails, you know, ears, and stuff like that, they add colors, although Noah's, um, Noah's is more like a light, like, you know, light gray hair, like, still looks like a tabby, like, you know, the default, except it's a lot pudgier. 
because um, Noah's also pudgy, so they're both alike. And Charity is Charity because and so is Noah is Noah. I can't wait to introduce the little pets to Noah. Yeah, my precious little kid star. Yeah, I named mine Kaede, though I think I might be changing um, her name soon. I kind of named her. I kind of named her like in a fit of grief, considering what happened to Kaede. Since um, uh, the pets came out not long after DRV three came in. Second, I'm on tier 11. Hey, Ann! So basically, the lore I have for, like, you know, for my, um, uh, K Hux pick, um, Anapis Eccentrics, that, um, uh, everybody that's part of Ryan Comics for the most part does appear in that pick, like, um, uh, Kuro's, um, uh, Kuro, and, you know, look, Baird, Ludivine, who's like, <laughs> if you want, if you want, if you want info, you gotta go to her, and, um, uh, you gotta pay up a price, yeah. Then there's um uh, Reese, I'm um, a uh, blues, I'm um, uh, char like you know blues of character who I'm um, uh... What's the thing? 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 I, I know I was gonna say since I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. <laughs> Reese, that basically I'm um, uh, what's up without her memories, stuff like that. Still a key kid, likes to do the rabbit thing, has a rabbit theme. In any case, like, Noah's all like, oh, everything's fine. Mm -hmm. It's all good. <laughs> Noah's, like, not even afraid. At first, Noah thinks it's a dream. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly where it comes from. <laughs> Noah thinks it's a dream first, and then she gets a bit of a, like, a heart slap to the face when she realizes, oh, it's not a dream, and then she's all, okay, then she's not too worried, even though she's like, oh, everyone's gonna fucking die. But then she's all like, you know, it's gonna be okay, because, um, uh, they're not the... They're not the player character who, like, you know, so, like, okay, I'll, I'll definitely survive this. And then nope, she is the player character. It's just that things deviated enough because like not everything's the same as what happened in the game, so yeah. Like works at this like you know because like, we, we, we fucking world build it so basically I'm um, a uh, unicorn is kids where I wear circlets on their head their heads and then with the jewel basically that's where all your lux goes and it gives you experience it also protects you um uh Ursus has them um, the belt um uh Volps has um uh wait uh yeah Volps has like the the nanklet 
Uh, Leopardos has the bracelet, and I'm, uh... Shit, what shit should I know? I'm... Oh, yeah, and I'm, uh... Angu Anguis has um, the necklace because like out of all of them, only like Anguis like only ne Anguis felt the rightest like you know have the actual necklace or whatever because otherwise there would be implications of a collar. Like you know, on a bear, on a bear, a fox, a leopard, or a, and a unicorn, that'd be like a collar, and it's like you know. Yeah, dude, I have like posts on it. It's also and, like it's also kind of sh in like shipping stuff in the sense because I'm I ended up shipping my key kit with ephemer and I'm scald because of course I am shipping trash as usual, and uh, I think that's about it. I'll leave it on your... Okay, I already got all as much as I can. I'm just gonna... I'm just collecting my shit first. Let me just, um, uh... Use my, um, uh, Coliseum coins. Ah, oh, I'm an Admiral! Ephemera's a precious boy. Ephemera, like, Ephemera, like, that's actually an incorrect, that's a mistranslation, because, like, even in the, with the Katakana, it should, it's supposed to be Ephemer. Because, if, because, um, if it was Ephemera, there would have been, there would have been, like, um, uh, there would have been, like, a line at the end of the name to put emphasis on the ah. Uh. It's the same situation with um, uh, Lee's name, which in Japanese it's like um, Rei-a, but it's not like Lea. It's like, you know, it's just like Lee. It's like, you know, but it, yeah, it's like, it's a thing. You have to like, it's basically how it's written, because otherwise it's like, you know, because I know for a fact that like with my name, like my last name is Salazar, but the way I have to write it is Saraza, Saraza, and I have to put a dash at the end, so I'm um, a... Uh, there's where the, um, uh, the A comes from, even though it's Salazar, not Sal Salazar. Because there's no, like, you know, ER sound or A sound, like... To be honest, I still prefer Aerith, since it, like, it has, like, a warmer sound, like, you know, Earth. And I like it. Give me a second, I gotta like, I gotta fucking level up this, um, uh, magnificent asshole that is Sephiroth, since we're just talking about, like, you know. Cause I got another, um, uh, illustrated Sephiroth, so he's gonna get out get- That's a bullshit. Wait, which metal am I even sharing?
gonna get that started. Wait, no, I don't need that on you. I don't need the set. I need... By the way, from here on out, you're gonna want to You're gonna want to um, uh, come by. Hmm? Sorry about that, Mama walked in on me. Alright, I'm gonna start now. Yeah, Zexion's amazing, although I haven't gotten him. But yeah, like from here on out, you might wanna like start on my uh, looking, like, you know, looking up on my. Uh, uh, there's these K Hucks on my uh, blogs on uh, Tumblr, but like you might wanna look it up, like which ones you wanna put your medals towards. Since some of them might be worth it, some of them might not even. Hold on, I got, I'm so close to getting a thousand lux, so give me a second. I want the jewels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's cause like, that. I want, that's why I'm always saying that I want, um, uh, Kyrie EX. Are you shitting me? I have to fucking do this thing? Hell no! I'm pretty sure it should come up because there was an illustrated um uh there was an illustrated Shion. Nomina usually pops up. She's usually like she copies other medals, but she's pretty good at it though. I love her. Like my um uh, my nominee. You say that, but they usually come up, and she might be a game breaker. Like all the Kyrie medals have been game breakers so far, and they're pretty good. My ninja, little ninja, she's a ninja. <laughs> it's funny that I'm a uh, that I'm uh, my illustrated I'm a uh, Shion is still like helping me so much out despite it being like more than a year. Mm-hmm. All right, give me a second. I'm almost done. Sorry if I'm taking too long. I did not...
But yeah, Illustrated Shion's been like, you know... Okay. I mean, technically is a cage stream, so... <laughs> I'm just doing it for the jewels. Let's see what I'm gonna get. Oh, it's you! Oh, hell. Take the hint. I told you to go home. Carrie's doing her freaking and not not Carrie. Nominee's doing her like oh oh see I'm commission. Asking you to rescue me. Well, I'm on my tablet for this because um, I don't have a phone for the. Kyrie's there, waiting for us both to come home. You're the one who forgot. I told you at Kingdom Hearts when we closed the door. Ba da ba da da da. Title drop. <gasps> Give it up. I'm not going back to the islands for anything. It's not just for Kyrie. What about the rest? Oh, it's you worth it if you want to play. Losers. It's kind of it's pretty fun. Already like, forgotten. I mean, you don't have to like, you know, spend That's money enough. on it. And as of this point, it's what like really you, easy. Sora? It's like really easy to get into, like, you know, like without having to pay for stuff unless you like? really want to. Of course I remember. Like nowadays, like most of the like you can get in through free, like you know, free to play. <laughs> like it's very easy to get through free, free to play now. Don't feel bad. That's what this castle does to you. After a while. It's good. You forget all the useless stuff and remember for the first time what really matters. Jeez, Riku, I didn't think. I remembered it, Sora. I now know the one thing that is most important to me. Protecting Namine. Nothing else matters. Mm -hmm. Nothing. It's a lot better now if you want to if you want to get back to it. They're especially forgiving to new players, especially. Mm -hmm. That's adorable, honestly. Look at these two. Hey, Riku. I think I'll jog your memory by kicking your ass. Go ahead and try. Give me a second. Come on, tablet. I just want to collect my money. All right, there we go. <sighs> okay, I got everything done. I'm probably gonna go like and sneak into the kitchen to get some more to get some taquitos because mom said they she made taquitos. my tablet. Yes. 
Thanks for the heal, Donald. myself over here. Beta K Hux. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Oh my god! Too bad, Sora. You can fight me all you want, but I still won't remember a thing. Come on, Riku. Let's quit fighting. Let's go help Naminé. Together. Right. So like you. Sora, you're always trying to worm your way into my heart. Hold on. When did I ever do that? Oh! Huh. You forgot that too? You never cared. It never mattered to you! You won't push me away. Oh, hello. By the way, the lethal frame deck doesn't work unless you're in like the right battle. This is a jilted lover, yeah. Does it hurt, Namine? Watching your two childhood friends fight, all because of you. You have my sympathies from the heart. But don't waste your time. Oh my gosh. Like, how dare you? We nobodies can never hope to be somebodies. Or is that just what 
Is that all that um, uh, Zemnus is telling you? Is that what Zemnus is telling you? I don't get it. Riku and I, we both want the same thing. Both of us want to help Namine out. How come we're fighting each other? I mean, Riku and I have argued about stuff in the past. He's but not on Marluxia's level, but um, he's still being a bit of a dick. Other. Hmm. I really thought so too. But maybe Riku doesn't. You can't give up your friends. Time to get up. So, uh, Riku and. Um, What's her name? Hmm. It seems our memories are fading mighty fast. Sora, we gotta hurry. I bet Riku will come around if you just talk to him. You're right. We three were never apart. Me and Riku and Namine. Kai, Kai, like, oh my god, you're just... Basically, I'm really bitter because I'm, uh, of the things to be pissed off at Axel for is mostly the fact that I'm, uh, he kidnapped Kyrie. He's been apologizing to Kyrie, like, you know, nonstop because, like, yeah, like, he was, like, in a fit of grief. He actually, like, he just wanted, like, he wanted to see, um, uh, Roxas again. But the caller's obsession with the kids, like, unhealthy is like, it's more that he's an overprotective older brother slash dad. Axel is a, is a huge ass disaster dad. He got attached to the kids who were put, given to him. Which is why he lashes out at Sykes when he starts, like, picking on Shion. Exactly! Exactly. It's just, it just pisses me off because it just seems like very one-sided.
It's not, it's not freaking Xehanort, but yeah, seriously! It's not, it's not the Xemnas, it's like, basically, it's the, it's basically, the entire bean is called Xemnas, but in Xemnas, Terror still exists. That's Terror's nobody's, that's his body there's. Xemnas. In any case, I'm, uh, like, basically... Basically, in a way, you can consider them, uh... Axel and Sykes likely had, like, they've been stunted really badly. It's just that in Sykes' case is that he was, like, he um, uh, he kind of managed a bit better, but it, it got bad because, um, uh, Xemnas picked him. He got a freaking... The X on his freaking forehead is, um, a uh, freaking, um, a uh, Rakusin sigil. At first, we just thought it was a freaking, like, this is Scar, but no, it's a Rakusin sigil. Meaning, like, whatever he does, it's like, it's like, again. But yeah, either way, like, Sykes is, like, doesn't know how to, like, you know, actually convey any more, like, you know, that he's kind of suffering. <laughs> There's a very good chance that I'm, uh... Give me a second, I forgot to switch out my deck. In any case, it's like... Instead of like focusing on what he did with the organization, focus on what he's done after getting out of the organization. Hey, DJ. Because what he's done after the organization is like... That's where it counts the most, considering, again, kidnapping Kyrie. Honestly, that's like, that's all I can actually freaking think about. Exactly! It just pisses me off, like, I mean, there's, like, some valid points they make involving, um, uh, 
that like Axel is then tr exactly tragic by no like is it like everything but like a part of it like their bias against Axel like seeps through in ways that's like annoying. Yeah. The fact that Axel still manages to get along well with um uh with Give me a second. Power. Come on. Gotcha. And it's also okay to hate Axel, but like for the love of God, if you're gonna just make posts about it, just exactly. They wouldn't just put him with, like, with Kali without a reason. The fact is, he's willing to change. Lee is actually willing to change. In any case, like, the fact that he gets along really well with, um, uh, Roxas and Xion, despite, like, the age difference means that he hasn't exactly developed much. Like, he's, like, time pretty much stopped for him and he's, like, develop again. Again, Zem has really fucked up a lot of people up. Like the fact that like their youngest member acts one of like one of the most mature. And then with Zig Barbie. Yeah, I'm still busy. Just like, next time, just let me bring it up. Rather than keep... Exactly. Especially with Marluxia, considering, like, you know, he, he gets told, like, oh, no hearts, okay, that means no emotions then. So he'd be mostly, like, you know, so he doesn't even pretend to have one. And what the way that ends up happening to him is that um, uh, he doesn't like really show much remorse or anything. Yeah, okay, just like, bring, like next, just like you know, instead of asking me each time, just like um, uh, wait for me to bring it up, okay? Because I'm like I've been really busy with like freaking school, and I have to like work out every time. Like yeah. tomorrow's a workout day. <laughs> Part of me hates that I've lured Zantetsuken because, like, that means I can, like, fucking stack nine. Oh, wait, tomorrow's also. Tomorrow's Thursday, that means, like, apart from an Ava's Demon update, more Pokemon! Of course, I don't watch the episodes, I just look at the freaking um, uh, screenshots while I'm in class, even though I should probably shouldn't. Yeah. 
It also did, like, most of the, like, their hate for Axel also seems to evolve into, like, you know, the whole, like, Akuroku thing, which, um, again, Akuroku, I, like, at this point in time, I no longer, I just don't, like, it, it does, it does, ne did not age well, the pairing at all, like, especially, it's just, again, it's just a pairing that never aged well, especially since now, like, Axel seems to be, like, the designated caretaker. He raised those kids. They're his kids. Like, again, like, this, the parent itself only works with Cage 2 stuff, but like, Cage 2 on its own, but like, after that, like, I can't. It's just too weird. Yeah, pretty much, that's what happened. Because again, the manga did show him, he showed him, uh, it showed Axel caring for him like a little kid. Not a fan of, I'm not exactly a fan of parents or like they kind of like where you raise him in some way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically, I um, just accumulated it like, you know, just talking about me like, you know, like Axel, like, you know. For me, I used to fucking hate Psyx. Here's the thing, like when it, here's the thing when it when like Akuroku, like when I I thought Axel was a fucking teenager, like in like or whatever, in um uh, when I first saw him because like he seems like that like you know that older brother like or whatever figure like you know that older teenager, not that the guy who's not much older than you. I thought he was like since he since I thought he was like the Riku of the group. I thought he was oh he must be close to Riku's age, but nope. Birth by sleep showed that he's a lot older than that. It only works in AUs. And even then, it's like still like, you know, like. It only works with AUs. That's all I'm yeah. saying. I mean, like, I could have seen it, but, like, for the most part, it's, like, looking at it now, it's, like, again, it doesn't, it still doesn't work. Yay, I got a Divine Rose. Big money, big money, big money, come on! This is the, oh, I got a zero, that's a good one. Big money, big money, big money! This is the worst gotcha game ever. Like I could have understand it. Like I was starting just as I was starting to understand the pairing, like notice it and get used to it and everything. Wanna know what ended up happening? Days came out. And then I got to see, like, you know, Axel, like, you know, like, baby, they called it baby sing and all that jazz. And, like, since, and then, like, again, Birth by Sleep came out, and you yeah. see it happen with Roxas. I mean, Ventus. Yeah, he wasn't even babysitting Ven. Like that one on that one on its own. That one can have its own potential. That one.
Exactly. With Axel, he just like, you know, again, like he he seems the type to pick up strays, so like um uh apart from having to like, you know, actually like, you know, being told to actually watch um uh Roxas. Okay, what's going on? I'm on my tangent, I'm on my tangent, I'm on my tangent. Like apart from having to like you know, watch it, he actually like, you know, deep down he actually he's so fine with it because he's like it's probably what he remembers doing best. Like even I even like Sykes still shows signs of like you know of his old personality showing through. I haven't seen it yet. I've been meaning to read the manga though. I have literally been meaning to read the manga though. It was it's on my list. In the meantime, I'm actually watching. Um, in the meantime, I'm reading them. Uh, you know, like the the, um, the promised Neverland, which I need to like catch up to the latest chapters because it's been like. Tomorrow's update day, meaning like I have to catch up because that means another another um, a promised Neverland um, uh, chapter. <laughs> uh, like I like I heard good things about it. That's why I wanted to read the manga. Because I was looking for like you know some um, 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 like uh, like just uh, going through my usual spill of just reading like going through manga and everything. Like there's this I forgot the name of there's this one manga I like I found that it's really yeah, good. Yeah. Nice. Oh god oh my god, get your luck get your dog ass out of here. Nice. What I'm looking forward to is that season two of Tiger and Bunny, the good stuff. It's like I'm a. Uh, it's like um uh, My Hero Academia, but like you know, early years. Basically, um uh, I love it so much. It's like it came before uh, My Hero Academia. It's like uh, My Hero Academia is like a child version of that. Like you know, that's more um uh, developed as opposed to like you know, considering the whole situation with um uh, uh, with the with them is like different. It's, like it's basically the early years of what happened in My Hero Academia. Like before Quirks became like you know main like you know um uh, like a majority thing. Tiger and Bunny movies, though. Like, it's been years, and, like, I, Tiger and Bunny was really my jab back in the day. Like, I was, like, so on it. Like, it was the anime that I, w I kept up with. I just loved it so much. Yeah. 
It was the one anime that I would literally watch on Hulu and like wait through the ads for. Like that's how like that's how much I was into it. Because nowadays I don't even bother with that shit. I know! I need to watch it! On the bright side, because I'm like waiting so freaking long to watch it, it means I can binge watch it. Which is gonna be a good thing. So long as I. I won't leave them behind. I promise. I don't want it. I don't want this one to end up like the other precures. This is the one precure I want to freaking follow. I don't even have enough time. To, I haven't even had enough time to freaking watch like the, like the freaking like so far the translated episodes of like for the Sun and Moon anime. And this one, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure that this episode is like basically Ash gets has like you know hangs out with some simians. That's yeah. something I don't know what it is, but like yeah, Tora cat. His um, uh, Lyndon finally evolved into Tora cat, which is by the way uh, the longest it's taken so far for any of his Pokemon in this fucking series. Like at least for this season. Okay, like, get the fuck off. Ooh. But yeah, in any case, back to like the whole thing with Isa and like, you know, Sykes. You could t you could tell he gets annoyed because um, he had already had to deal with like, you know, um, uh, as like, you know, as Isa, like, you know, Lee just picking up strays, like a bunch of kids. He's like, he sees it happen, but like, you know, because a lot of influence comes out a lot rougher and harsher than it actually is. It's supposed to be. If anything, Isa probably doesn't like recognize like, you know, a lot of his actions are like, you know, coming up a bit harsher than usual. Man, you need to look at the fucking size difference between Lydon and Torcat to Incineroar. Like, imagine that thing having Lydon's, like, actually, like, you know, babies. It's gonna be a big mama. It's a, it's a big mama. Big, big mama, big papa. Oh, let me see that. Oh, holy shit! That's some good stuff right here. Let me see. God, I still need to fucking watch this! Wait, Kina, Kina, Precure number one, Blade Runner. Precure la mode, Paris. Oh, Jesus Christ, there's just so many freaking Precures I want to follow! <laughs> nice! Right, that was that fucking free movie. I need to look at that one too. I don't know. I might wait for that. Wait, might wait for the like the free hype to die a bit more down. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cute. Like as far as I can tell you, I'm uh, I've only like so far like get, been to a lot more into them, uh, the mother. Uh, okay, what was it again? A small fresh precure. There we go. Fresh precure. That one was the one. I think Hard Cash Freaker is the one that has um, a Nana Mizuki voice in the pro tag for that one. Nana Mizuki being like, you know, on Japanese voice actress. Yeah, I think you might just have to find the right, like, oh god, Jesus Christ! Like, I won't lie, I'm uh. I won't lie, but I'm uh. <laughs> I actually wanted to look more into Precure because I'm uh. Jesus Christ! I know, I'm like, yeah, I saw that, like, it's like, oh, uh, sorry, right there, right there, there's treasure chest right there. <laughs> like, the reason why I wanted to get back into Precur is because, like, the reason why is because I was doing this, um, uh... <laughs> Like, I was doing this, like, you know, I did dungeon requirements for Facade, and, like, the one for, um, uh, for Nanakos is that, like, at first it's gonna be, like, angelic things, but then I was like, Let, let's just go magical girls, because I'm, uh, because of the, fuck, what was her name again? Like, you know, the little, um, uh, detective girl is basically, like, based off, like, a magical girl series of some sort, based, based off detectives, I forgot what it was called, I think it was Milky... Detective Milky Holmes, there you go. Tante Opera on Milky Homes, basically. <laughs> Slam that fucking key into the chest, yes. Okay, for Tariwa, yeah. Basically, I'm, uh, I forgot what's her name again, but, like, you know, for the little detective magical girl or whatever, like, that, um, Anaka really likes, that's space. Yeah, I mean, she's a shout out to, um, uh, Tante Opera Milky Holmes. Detective Loveline, that's her name. Detective Loveline's her name. There we go. Love, love, the love detective. It's a reference to a mil like you know, Tante Milky Holmes. It's kind of like. So basically, I wanted to do like you know, a bit of an homage to like magical girls. And basically, I'm a. Uh, the thing what I ended up doing is that I'm a Kanji is a sailor scout. <laughs> I forgot what I'm a. Uh... I don't know what I. I don't know what it was. I forgot what Yosuke was again, but I know Chi was definitely a precure because they're more physical with their attacks. Chi was definitely a precure. I am I to believe that I'm uh no, who else again? I know there was other magical girls. Uh famous, 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 famous. I 
<laughs> oh no, I think Yosuke, I think Yosuke and you were basically, um, uh, you know, from Madoka Magica. Gia and you. <gasps> oh my god! I forgot about those magical girls. I think that was gonna be. I'm not sure. Like that was definitely one of them. I think he was gonna be a mermaid. One of the mermaid magical girls. All of them have to wear magical girl outfits. Even, even the guys. I don't know. Like all I know is that one of them was definitely one of like the mermaid melody. Peachy peachy pitch. One of them was definitely like Madoka Magica. Wait, what the? Okay, there we go, okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm, uh, I'm uh, you ended up being a uh, Madoka. Madoka or something. <laughs> that Kanji, again, Kanji was definitely a Sailor Scout. Sailor Kanji! My love. My lovely love. I'm like, I... Like, I should remember a lot of this shit, but like, apparently, like, I only remember, like, I, re I like, I remember I'm a cheese the most because, again, magical, like, a, she's a freak here because, again, the physical, like, she's like a physical one. I think someone might have been a Shugo Chara, but I, a ch Chara or whatever, it's, however it's fucking pronounced, I'm not sure, like, I was never into Shugo Chara. Jesus Christ, Precure! Calm your te- calm your magical girl tits! It astounds me how Precure my- oh, Jesus, wow, I need to watch that, it looks really pretty! I was cut actually I didn't consider Powerpuff Girls Z too much to be magical girl, but like I might too at this point. Give me a second, I gotta call him. But yeah, like come next Thursday, I'm gonna have to like I can't I won't be I'm gonna be missing some classes because I'm I have to like fill in for my um uh, for my uh, boss because she's gonna be in surgery. I know it's fucking amazing, honestly. Like at that point, like because like the way Precure looks, like it's like I'm actually kind of glad because if it's on the le like because it's like on the level of Pokemon, as in like you know, it's not like it's basically I'm uh, like I don't have to worry about their the fan service like being like in a way being distracting like in other stuff. It's not like pandering to the freaking like you know. It's not even Moa blob shit either. Like you know, Mo like Moa stuff. It's just like, you know, kid stuff. And it's like it's like it's innocent stuff. So like I don't have to worry about that. I don't have to worry about like you know gross fandoms. Like on the regular level as I would normally like it with them. Uh, what's a good? What's a good? What's a good example? Fuck me. In any case, it's like a, it's... <gasps> Mew! Yes, someone was gonna be the Mew! Magical girl, Teddy! Ribbon, check! Oh, fuck, is that how it's going? He's the most into it. Like that was like that was the deal. Like I'm a. At first I was thinking it was gonna be Angel stuff, but like what's more like what's more like you know, like aside from Angel, what what would a little girl actually like you know want to like rescue her? Someone who like like you know that will connect more to her would be like a magical girl because like they're magical. Mm-hmm. 
What's my other magical girls? I know there's other magical girls. I'm like having to remember them all. I think I was gonna make now to like just. <laughs> I know Naoto is gonna definitely be a more conservative one, like, you know, no revealing outfit. Meow! You have to, like, it's all. He would say that, and it wouldn't make a lot of sense for Teddy to say that. It wouldn't make the sense for Teddy to say that. Especially since, like, TV World. Like, I was thinking Shugo Char, like, at one of them, definitely, but then, like, again, I don't, like, Shugo Char makes me uncomfortable for the fact that, like, the 11-year-old girl with the fucking 18-year-old, like, n nothing could ever save that fucking thing. Oh, what's another well-known magical girl series? I was, I think, uh, I think I was considering, like, freaking um, Wedding Peach, but, like, nah, that's, like, a ma that's not even not real, definite. Like, I don't even look much into Wedding Peach, the most I know from it is, um, uh, Oh shit, I need to actually look into that one. Like what like the only the most I know about wedding pitches from like that it's a bridge series. And like I and I still haven't finished watching that one either. Mm, I know I think I might look at the way it goes in. <gasps> Car Captor Sakura was what Car Captor Sakura mm -hmm. Saint I gotta look. Saint, I gotta look that one up. I am in dire need of magical girl suggestions now, apart from Precure. It's been ages since I looked up any magical girl series since Madoka. I feel like I have to fist. Like, fist, not fist. No, I don't. I can't. Do not fist the magical girl series. Do not fist it. I want to fix that. No, no, okay, got that one. <laughs> oh, Ojimajo, sorry, wait, no, Ojimajo, sorry, me, like, Princess Comet, okay, I'll definitely check that one out. It was basically a series that like a kid would know. Courage. Come on. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. I'll definitely check that one out. <laughs> Shut! I did not mean that. No! No, don't make that a thing! Don't make that a thing! <laughs> oh god, no! All right, Oja Majo Dory means but one of my like you know favorite um, uh, my uh, magical girl series because of like the just the like the way it works. Like I swear to God, things aimed at kids work so much better than things that are aimed at adults. Like that's all I'm saying. Because. <laughs> And I don't, I think it was Moto no wait, no night night show. I'm um, uh Ojimajo Dory means night show. I there was a scene where like one of the girls was like a terminally like, like you know she was terminally ill, she had cancer. And like the thing she wanted to be, do the most was be a witch. And the build up to that was so like done well that it made you watch like, you know, hope that they would reach her in time, but no, she ended up passing away before that happened and then like Dora Amy was like so fucking like distraught over it, but like she didn't like. But she still got. She still managed to find some hope in it. I'm like really hesitant to watch the last season though because like. It's. Like instead of like, you know, being the happy thing, it's all about also parting ways with everyone. Aiko moves in back with her. I think her like moves back to Osaka. I'm uh. 
I think Hazuki, like, basically, um, uh, goes to a different school than, um, Doremi. To become a, like, to become even a witch, you have to, like, literally, like, move back to the w into the witch world. And, like, Doremi almost does it, but, like, this guy who, like, basically, like, you know, c confesses to her and, like, basically... The way it works is, like, I, I can't deal with that. My heart cannot deal with that. <laughs> I cannot deal with that. I cannot deal with the last season. Especially since the teacher, like, after her class graduates from, like, I think elementary school, like, she had, she's freaking moving. I don't know. Someone look up classic magical girl tears, like, you know, that are on the level of, like, you know, I'm out. Like, basically on the, uh, freaking hell! What are the level like I'm uh basically it has to be like on the certain level like I'm uh of like you know rec uh, recognizable like I I'm pretty precur is definitely fucking recognizable, so is Sailor Moon. Yeah, Donald. Hey, boy, Donald, you piece of shit, heal me! I need to look at that right now. Hold on a second. I'm just like killing these fuckers. Yes! Again, you was Madoka. Let me see. Let me look up. Let me do a little small, like a fast amount. Uh... Magical girl, magical girl, uh, but no, not this. <sighs> Fuck you off, Negima. No, oh, Revolutionary Girl or Utena was actually considered one. Pretty cute, like, that was again one. <gasps> Princess Tutu! I fucking love Princess Tutu. Princess Tutu is so amazing. I still need to finish that one. Oh god, why is it too light on here? Captain Sakura is definitely one. Okay, let me see. Give me a second. Uh, Dan Angel. Oh yeah, I forgot that was considered one. Okay, very good. Fresh Precure for Tariwa. Flip Floppers is new. Can't, well, it doesn't. Uh, it can't apply. It, it can't apply. It has to be. Oh yeah, it has to pre exist pre 2011 or whatever. She fucking could be Princess Tutu. Mm, Shuped, is this a zombie? Hakto. I still need to look at that one. I, I'm like. Mm, magical Girls, of Miracle, the Morton, Marina, Omashika. Magical Raisin Project is still new. Okay, Tokyo Mimi has already been taken. The f Ugh, I don't. I seriously just wanted like disown Ch Shu Ochara. Sally the Witch is definitely one of the like. I remember she's like one of the like. She's like one of the original who might have started it all. Well, Witch Academia, a lot of all magical girls. Kill Kill actually counts as one, by the way. Papillon Rose, Prince, Petite Princess Yusi. What the fuck is pre tier again? Woo! That's so nice. Oh my god, that's some really nice art. Oh! Bottle Fairy? What the hell is Bottle Fairy? But all I know is all I know is that I wanted to give Naoto a break and give her like one of the most like, you know Like the ones that won't like have like, you know, make her feel the most uncomfortable. So I guess um uh, she's gonna end up getting Mm-hmm. Mm, it's so cute. I got some zombie. Okay, I must. I really want. 
<laughs> but yeah, like I'm pretty. Oh yeah, she would be Utena then. Like we add in it, we she get Utena, like the revolutionary girl Utena. Especially since it's like a classical one, she'd probably she'd fit it to a very good T. <gasps> oh, oh, now I remember Arise. Magical Mia Mia Taruto. What the hell? That's a that's so cool. And I bet I'm gonna have to go like take the <laughs> There's Nanako SOS. There's literally a magical series by the name of Nanako SOS. Nurse Witch Komugi. Oh, that's an edgy. Let's see, let me see. I wanna see I wanna see the cute outfits. <laughs> cute. <laughs> I love I'm like I'm like a super sucker for like nice designs. What the fuck is going on, Alice? Yeah, there it is. Mermaid me Melody Peachy Peachy Pitch. Stack one. There it is. It's there, right there. That's um, uh, That was definitely Rise. Rise was definitely a Mermaid Melody. By the way, she's still fighting in that dungeon. She's she's like she's um uh, Ultimax Rise. Basically, I'm um, uh, <laughs> with a uh, with a uh, Mike stand. She uses the fight to say like, "Why have Mike said? Because I fucking can." Besides, like no one's gonna think twice about him. Like former idol fighting like a Mike stand with a mic. Oh, Anyamaru! Anyamaru Tante Kiru Minzu. What is that? Detective Fizzin, that's like, that's definitely a detective one. Uh huh. She is Precure, Teddy's a Mumi, Rise is a Mermaid Melody. The only one who kind of like. Kanji is a Sailor Scout. Like, you know, Sailor Moon. And he's beautiful. <laughs> oh my god, there's one by the name of Phantom Thief Jean. <laughs> oh, how that's amazing. And my um, Yukiko was Princess Tutu. Because she would be the one. Sailor Jupiter, yes! So that just leaves Yosuke then. Yosuke's the only one without one. Until I find him one. <laughs> I was honestly thinking cutie honey because like, of course he would get the one, like the fan service one. Princess, lovely Princess Tutu. Unless someone manages to find a better one for, um, uh, for Yosuke. Someone save Yosuke from the fate of that is, um, a cutie honey. <laughs> hey, I love that. You know, he, he's gonna fucking end up in a fucking dress. He has to dress in the outfit. You You had to be Nurse You. He's gonna have to be, um, he's gonna have to be whatever, like, you know, Sailor, whatever. Oh, Creamy Mommy! I forgot that was one. Creamy Mommy. Ma the Magic Angel. Angel, Yosuke's the angel. Yeah, honestly, that honestly. G 
June bride, Junus bride. I'll see myself out. Yes. Teddy would... But uh, my uh, my headphones were dying for a bit. Like I think I need a new pair of headphones. Ah, uh, it's okay. Don't worry. I should still be guys, can you hear me? I I should still be back. Logitech, I should be back. Can you not hear me? I should still be on. Okay, there we go. Yes, that's a key. I was like looking at it. The, I love the art style, like I like, honestly, like I'm um, uh, the precured art style. The reason why I went with Creamy Mommy is because I'm um, a Creamy Mommy is like, you know, a magic angel. Like, and um, uh, we're in heaven. Someone's gotta be the angel. But nah. Wedding page at this point, he's a wedding piece. He's a wedding piece. He's gotta he's gotta be the June bride. <gasps> Finally! No, I thought I got a random joker. I'm never gonna get a ran my random joker back. Oh. By the way, if I don't say anything in a while, it's because my mic probably, my headphones are probably fucking up again. And... Okay. Probably gonna have to take the dogs in, in a bit for a, in a bit. <laughs> I fucking hate your brain. God freaking damn it, bit. What level am I now? I'm almost level 40, damn! <gasps> oh my god, I see that hair! I see that lovely hair! Yes! Hell yes! Yeah, no, I'm a bad now. I am an absolute sucker for nice hair and like any type of art and like Kyoko's hair like in that stuff. It's good stuff. 
literally good stuff. I got a lot of these. In the name of the moon, I shall fucking punish you. And I won't lie, it was because of a pre-cure thing, a alleged pre-cure thing. That I like when I was like writing my like thinking of like ideas for my like KH fanfic because like I'm uh, like it turned into a time loop like at one point my like my OC that was Kyrie's sisters who happened to be a princess of heart. <laughs> Yosuke's gonna make it. It's it's making it into the final draft. Meaning I'm gonna have to fucking watch Wedding Peach and read the manga or one or the other. <laughs> oh, it's definitely gonna be Yukiko. Yukiko and um, a Teddy. <laughs> so basically, as I was saying, it's because of Precure, like, you know, the little th hand thing that they made? Like, uh, my OC character was gonna end up doing that to Riku as a joke. Riku, who's like, um, a uh, fucking, um, uh, like, you know, looking like Xehanort and whatnot. And, like, there's this burst of light, and it actually fucking returns um, Riku back to his original form, and it's like, yes! Hell yes! It turns in Riku back to his original form, and everyone's like, what the fuck, that actually worked? And it was like, you could have literally done that from the start. Like, literally everyone's reaction. No one even cares that like, she was like just making a mad, like doing a magical, precure magical thing. Magical girl thing. No, it's the fact that it actually worked. <laughs> Pretty much. I kind of named her, like, a, she had a different name from the start, but I named I, right now her name is Akemi. But her actual name is Keiko. Like the idea was that I'm, uh, she kind of doesn't remember much about like like she's losing like Kyrie. Kyrie remembers spits. With her, she forgot a lot of things, even her own name. So they gave her a new one. I can't even having to do with it like Dawn. <laughs> I fucking love it. Please, ma'am, don't do this. Calm down, Riku. Riku, call me your- CALL ME YOUR MAGIC- You can call me your magically yeah. enhanced hits. Which I will admit, aren't that- Which is in- Alright, I can start the- I can start the game. Let me just, um, uh, get the- But yeah, in any case, like, her actual name was Keiko, like, at first, like, I actually went through a trend, like, um, uh, she's supposed to be, like, you know, the, um, uh, time of day, like, she's supposed to be the dawn. Like, some sort of light, like, since uh, we got yeah. aspects and all that whatnot. She had, she would have a freaking nobody, like, who was, like, basically, like, that counterpart. Like, she's the night, she's day, she's night, like, whatever, like, fucking dawn, like, whatever. <laughs> I actually went into a lot of thought about it. And one of the fucking jokes I made is that, like, I had from the start about, like, my, like, the, her nobody is that she could never use portals of darkness. Like, she was unable to use one, even, like, and it's funny because it even shows that Nominee was having difficulties using it. I think, like, she got, she got given, like, the, like, Zemnas gave her the name Destiny because he's, like, fuck, he's not original at all, like, whatsoever, nothing. The later intent that was supposed to be that she was supposed to take after like um uh, she was supposed to take on her um original self's um uh, what everyone thought was her name before she finds out her real name, so she becomes a Kami. So she's like just hangs out with Nominee like again, Dawn with the ocean, whatever. I, I I thought so much about it. This is also like this is how it turned into a time looping fic or whatever. 
Like, it's like time looping at the side, re like source from a bad end. He doesn't remember shit, but he like his emotions, like he's got the emotions carry over. Riku's just like been around for too long, and he like every once in a while he becomes aware. He's aware in this time loop, and he's like he's aware that Akemi, like Akemi, like my OC isn't supposed to be fucking there. She's not supposed to exist. So it's like, who the hell are you? Each time he remembers, this is like. But by then, she's already become a crucial part. She literally cannot exist. Like, can't not exist. Ooh, let me see that yet. Give me my fucking man. Oh my gosh. I love the eyes. So basically, the, the, the gist of it was that like, by the time like Destiny Islands like you know goes to hell, Riku doesn't like doesn't fuck off. He stays with them. He stays with like Sora and my OC. So he ends up traveling with everyone. And the thing is, uh, like like every once in a while, there's like a, there are other people who are aware. You want to know who else is aware? Cloud. And he pretty much goes into dad mode. He adopts these kids. Like these are my kids. And he just like accompanies them bad news of it is by the time of like you know like chain of memories and all that shit he kind of unintentionally made him dependent on him so when he's out of the way they turn into a fucking mess and like <laughs> like castle of Oblivion was not a good just like not good for anyone <laughs> riku's on his own because like he was able to keep like he was he didn't purposely like you know go into the darkness the bot the downside was um uh he's got to deal with um uh xana trying to corrupt him Mm-hmm. Like, I just fucking, like, again, like, the my favorite part again was, um, uh... Yes! <laughs> he just, these are my kids now, because, like, he remembers some of it, but then he, like, he sees Sora's, like, he remembers, he remembers usually a happy-go-lucky Sora, but Sora's are, like, a bit more, like, you know, um, uh... Calmer, like you know, not as like you know, energetic. If anything, it's like his. The, my OC is the one who's like actually is supposed to act, act like he's supposed to. <laughs> like Sora just has a hard time being like you know he's like he's good at being me and emotional, but like um, I, what happened to his island actually has been taking a toll on him. So he's like pretty much like saying, I want my family back. I want my home. Yeah, I really remember the I remember the Seiyus. I remember them. Like we we talked about it during Dongon Rumpa. I that's why I still want to watch it. I need to see it. They're taking care of a baby. I love me some magical girls taking care of kids. Like you can't go wrong with that. You literally cannot go wrong with that. That's what makes. That's why I like um uh, Oja Majo Doremi Sharp when they were taking care of the t baby Hana. <laughs> like something about like it's just something like. Just amuses me. In any case, it was supposed to lead into like when they got to like the you know um, Atlantica, meaning you want to know what like what Cloud ended up being? He was an orca, and he was a lot bigger than everyone else. So like there were times where they they would actually sleep, and like everyone's like, all right, all aboard, Dad, like you know Dad Orca, like you know Dad Cloud. I was talk. I talked about this with AI, like you know my friend Chibi Fox AI. She's the one to come up with the ideas, and like I cannot ignore it. Freaking big merman, like Orca, Cloud, with his kids. Riku's a freaking shark with the shark teeth. My OC was the one who only looked normal, except that night she fucking glows with bioluminescence. So everyone's all saying, "For the love of God, turn that off!" And, like I quit if I could. Like poor, like she was like, it basically it's a, it's late at night. Everyone's trying to get some sleep. She's like just all of a sudden glowing. Yeah. 
Riku's got the sharp teeth as a shark. Oh my god! Of course, this only happens after, like, um, uh... Like, you know, the... It has to happen, like, after, like, you know, before... Shit, um, a lump is called a TM encounter, like, um, uh, Claude just sees this, it's like, you know what, yes. fuck this, fuck, fuck you, Hades, I'm out of here, like, these are my kids now. Claude would, Claude would, like, usually talk to, um, a Riku about what, like, what the hell happened. Basically, it's, it was just this, like, fucking, like, time loop fic that ended up having, like, a bunch of ideas. I forgot what Cloud was in Halloween Town, but I'm, um, uh... Hey, yeah, it's like, basically, Cloud was like, what Axel is to the kit, to the, to, like, you know, in the Sea Salt Trio. Ice Cream Trio. It was a fucking dad pick in some way, like, I cannot, like, you cannot ignore the found family aspect. Mm-hmm. Like I know for a fact that I'm uh that my freaking OC and Riku would have been butting heads, like and like Sora would just be he's like every once in a while he's usually exhausted, but when like when something comes up that he really likes, he actually starts showing like, you know, his usual self, like, you know, energetic self. He he really does get he really does do well in like, you know, the hundred acre wood. Like it's his healing time and he likes the puppies a lot. Dandelions of Keyblades, they're still babies. <laughs> His little key kids. I love how we're totally ignoring the story here, but then again, like a lot of us would have gone through this. I'm sorry, Peace, I didn't mean to ignore you, but like, we got. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, you would have imagined, like, Cloud would have been like, Riku, what the hell? And he's like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. It's not really his fault. Because I'm um, again, Xehanort is just fucking like fucking things up. At one point, Sora does kind of fuck up. Like his emotions get the better of him. And he like, he says something he regrets. Like, he like, at one point to my OC, he's like, I, why did I have to save you? Because like something happened. She like, he had a chance to get Kyrie back, her body at least. And if I like, yeah, I go, he just, instead he saves my OC and he's like, why did I save you? Like, it was so, like, emotional, like, freaking, like, you know, baby rage. And it ends up backfiring because that's, end up, that's what ends up getting my OC fucking kidnapped. And then, like, Riku, like, Riku has to go away and then, like, Sora's all by himself. And, like, Sora's just full of regret. And all he has is Cloud and like Donald, like Donald and Goofy or whatever. And it's like it's just basically like saying like you gotta apologize, but like yeah, it just basically starts not having a good time by then. Bye, Bell. Rip, Ripperoni. Jesus Christ, Maleficent, what the fuck? And I know, like, in Wonderland, here's the thing with Wonderland, the Cheshire Cat pretty much, um, uh, disabled all uses of Keyblades. Yeah, she did. The Cheshire Cat disabled all uses of Keyblades, and with Riku there, Riku's basically the only, like, you know, doing any fucking damage, apart from when, like, the Cheshire Cat gives them, a. Uh, Sora and my OC just like, you know, these, um, uh, weaponized toys. Basically, it was like American McGee's Alice in the sense, like, you know, weaponry. With, um, uh, cosplay that look like, you know, with cosplay. 
from uh, Har um, uh, Al Heart no Kuni no Alice, like, you know, the, like Alice in the Country of Hearts. Like, Sora was supposed to be like the white rabbit, you know, paired up with bud rabbit ears. <laughs> My OC was Alice! <laughs> I didn't. I still haven't gotten far enough. It was Riku, but I think he was the might have been the Mad Hatter, like basically Blood Dupree. <laughs> I wanted to like all these ideas, and like I was like wondering like so much ideas. Like I, I put so much work into this. <laughs> And I like I still haven't fucking written it. And the reason why I even create or why this series even exists is because um I wanted to write Kate Street fic fanfic because I was getting pissed off with like with like uh, like mostly uh, mo like the people writing MK Street fanfic like were all usually just like you know um adult um uh, straight men. Kind of did a pretty bad job of it. Cause you could tell it was written by adult straight men who do know how who do not know how to write romance. It was a bad thing. And I was annoyed because they kept adding in worlds that I know like that's not Disney. That's not Disney. Why the fuck is this doing in a KH fic? <laughs> so I, I got super salty and made my own fic. 14 year old me was fucking wild, man. The idea was also that uh, Kai's heart split, it, like, it split in half or whatever. One went into her twin, the other one went into Sora's. So basically, if, like, I'm, uh. <laughs> Either way, like, by the time, like, you know, like, you have to return Kyrie's heart, you're gonna have to fucking, like, also get rid of, like, my OC's heart, so that's how a freaking heart, like, her nobody was born because it, like, her heart, she loses her heart and goes to Sora because, like, Kyrie's heart is called for it. Exactly! And I'm like, and I'm just basically just like, um, okay, like, this is like the most half-assed way, so I just kept trying to, like, you know, whatever, like, this is Kingdom Hearts, like, this is only so much I can do. And that's how her nobody was born, and her nobody was supposed to basically, um, uh, wakes up in Castle of freaking, um, uh, Castle of freaking Oblivion, but, like, considering the whole situation where, like, you know, Roxas and, like, whatever, because, like, she does have a situation with that, like, you know, with Ventus, like, said, she has her own counterpart that she takes after, but the difference is, um, uh, it doesn't call, like her heart doesn't call out to her as much because uh, technically um uh, she she only got the looks and um uh, actually like I don't know like she's supposed to pass out but like the what the thing with her is that she ignores all a lot of pain her pain tolerance is like she pretty much breaks it to its limit that by the time she like you know reaches the point in Castle Lim she just passes out and stays asleep for like a fucking like I don't know a month like she passes on like Roxas. Because in the meantime, all she wanted to do was just stay with Nominee. She was like Nominee's friend. Like Nominee needed a friend. Nominee has a little sister right there, her twin sister. <laughs> like one of the funny gag things I did was that my OC would like just fucking steal food from the, from like the kitchen like that existed there. It would just bring it back to Nominee and they just eat it. Everyone's wondering what the fuck's happening to the food, and then they find, the then they just find these two. The premise was basically that um, uh, the BBSOC wasn't supposed to live, but because like something happened, which is basically Xehanort like thinking like, you know what? I just want, I'm curious to, to see what happens because he's the reason why like despite the loops happening, shit's still, shit's still going down because he's also someone who's aware of them. The problem is he's like old enough to become aware where it matters the most. So when Akko becomes aware, there's not much she can do and it sucks. <clears throat> Basically accumulates to like um, a master Xehanort just giving Ericus a baby and like ter like it, it just waking everyone up one morning and Terra's like so pissed he just like eats a bag of like you know um, shelled nuts he just eats yeah. nuts like he eats them all no sharing because he's a little brat boy that I love he's a 
keep Brad Boy. I, of course, when I was calling, uh, calling him a brat boy, I get killed. <laughs> In any case, it was basically, that was the premise. I just, like, I, that's how my lips go. She was supposed to be the knight, you know, like, basically, I'm a dark skin and I'm a, uh, like, white hair. Everybody would have assumed, that, like, because of that, like, everyone did, like, you know, Ericus did assume that, um, uh, Xehanort had a kid, but like, nope, she just saved a kid. Like, it's just, like, it's just a coincidence. It's because, like, you know, that she, he had similar features to her. Like, again, the silver hair and dark skin. White hair, like, whatever. And saying, like, what? No, I didn't, like, like, why would I have, why would I do that? Like, why would I have a kid? So, basically, um, uh, she dodged a bullet being raised by Xehanort. Yay! Yep! Season of Bachelors. I'm not sure. Am I making an- it could be an auburn, like a strawberry blonde. Actually, a strawberry blonde would make it pink- Oh my god, that's a pink hair! <laughs> oh my god, I just, like... <clears throat> like, hold on, I have like some- I have- I think I have some, uh, pics of it. I'm gonna go take the dogs in right now, but I know I have some pics of it in some way. Like, I made like a Rinmaru. <sighs> I'm like, this is such a, like, a fucking elaborate thing that I, like, I still can't believe it exists. Like... This is how much, like, I cut out, and then this is how much that stayed around. No, no, that's Atsuna, Sasuna, no, that's Sylvia. God damn, where did I leave my thing? Oh, don't tell me it's in the other one. Kamui, Kamui, no. Jesus Christ, I have so many picks. Oh, well, give me a second. <clears throat> I have so many freaking things every once in a while. Once I make the run more, it's basically more than less, like, fucking saved. Okay, pictures, pictures, pictures. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna cry if I left it on my fucking other Emma. Oh, gosh damn it. God damn it to hell. 
it is really going to suck if I left it on my other laptop because, like, it is such shit at this point and I cannot. I swear to God, I cannot. Jesus Christ, why do I have a Kingdom Hearts' life? I have a. I, I'm, li I'm not going to lie, I have a Kingdom Hearts' life fucking. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts' is life folder. That's basically what I have. Is it in videos? Nope. I, don't, I doubt it's in videos. Is it in stuff? <laughs> a fucking mermaid name! Of, of course! I would have a mermaid. <laughs> oh my god, that is so pitiful. <clears throat> oh god, that's a good one. <clears throat> Wait, I have a flicker. It's on my flicker. <laughs> Give me a second, guys. I'm so sorry. My god, I fucking hate my freaking um, I. Yep. I know it's somewhere like I remember I remember putting it up like it look I remember putting it up on Flickr because I was sharing it with my friends. I should still have it technically. I should still have it. Where's my fucking photos? Wow. Yep.
join. Okay, I'm back. This should be obvious though. Ah, fuck! Be one with the unicorns. Right, this is gonna be like a desperate effort to get back my pictures because I know they're on this laptop. And I say it's a desperate effort because this laptop won't, doesn't even like at this point, cannot function without being on. Let me just get my freaking controller while I wait for this, um, uh... Okay, that's a. Uh... I can I cannot lethal frame um this one. Wait. Ugh, skip a bit. Yeah, kill things as it boots. Okay, I'm gonna give me a second. I have to make sure it's. Nope. Laptop fucking crapped out the minute it booted up. That's how bad it is, guys. That's how bad my old laptop is. It got to this point, and here's the thing, I haven't been using it at all. Okay, here go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, are you shitting me? I can't sign into my own device! Here we go. He's a precious little dream eater though. And the amount of time it's... Yeah!
Give me a second. <clears throat> Race against the clock! Come on, passer! Come on! I just need to swap a few picks onto my other drive. Come on, you can do this, laptop. You're not that shitty. Well, I'm, that's a lie, you are pretty shitty. Oh, I miss my key kids. My precious key kids. All right, I'm on my desktop. I'm on. I'm. 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 I'm in hacker voice. I'm in. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I believe in you. Remind me later. I don't need you, Voldovi. Remind me later. Downloads, 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 downloads. <clears throat> Come on. I have so much sun and moon music. Oh, here I go. I found you. I found them. I also found my chibis. Come on! Okay, I got that in. Okay, give me my, give me a second. I want my uh, my desktop. Okay, I got all of them in. I just need a fucking... Oh my god! <gasps> oh my god, come on! I just want the fucking background! Give me a second. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry if this is like really cutting into it. I mean, like, I, I didn't mean for this to disturb it, but like, this is the rarest in time.
Okay, come on. I just want this picture so I can like make this my backdrop, my like background, cause like I have these sleeping cake heads in here. Oh my god, I'm just trying to find them. Uh. <laughs> this is the most inconvenient of all streams. I just. This is literally right now a boss music. I'm like up against my own computer. That's how bad it is. Versus your shitty laptop. My computer is the final boss. It's ang it is it ha is angry that I replaced it. It was never meant to be. It was not meant to be as far as I can tell you. Okay, I found it. I fucking found it. Okay, it's there. It's done. I'm, I'm done. Get off this computer now. I defeated the evil. The evil has been defeated. I'm so sorry for that. Let me at least get rid of this boss. Back off. Oh my god! many accounts that was super close oh boy hopefully no more um, interruptions this time Do 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 do
I was right. <laughs> I know, Jesus Christ. Honestly, that's pretty sweet. Aw, that's so. S I actually, you know, I really do like Belle and like you know the in the base. They like they're so really good. Oh my god, no! The fucking bleep of death. Hard for this, it's time to share the, the, the fucking go sees. Okay, her name was Saul. What was her name? Solus, 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 Solus. There we go. I got all three of them. Like level 39, still not a level up. We're I have a feeling I'm kind of sort of over leveled now. Okay, here we go. Here's the fucking BBSOC. Here's the Kyrie's twin sister OC. And here is the fucking nobody. Here's the. Fuck. 
Apparently, I kind of forgot. 